strumming with thumb versus pick. Which is better? Hi, I'm Thomas from Real Guitar Success. If this is something you're wondering about, you're in the right place. I have a lot of experience with both. I'm going to talk about the pros and the cons of each one so you can decide which one is best for you. You might be surprised what you find out. Let's do this! Well, let's start out with the thumb. Now, one of the great things about the thumb is that you'll never have to worry about losing it or it ending up in your sound hole. It is easier at first with the thumb also because it takes a little bit to get the hang of how to hold the pick properly. You can strum quieter with your thumb. Listen. And by getting used to using your thumb, you can use it in other ways as part of a strum pattern using your fingers as well. Something like this. Now for the downsides of your thumb. It's more difficult to get a nice, crisp, clear strum. Not impossible, but it's harder than using a pick. Also, it's hard to play single notes at least quickly, like in lead guitar. Also, your thumb can get pretty sore, especially when you're first learning and your thumb's not used to hitting the guitar strings. And you can break your thumbnail. If you're not using the nail, no big thing. If you decide you want to use your thumb, I have a video that you're going to love. And I'll put a link to that up in the corner. And now for using the pick. I think it's easier to do a nice, crisp, clear strum with a pick. You can also play single lines or lead guitar more easily. less likely to get sore using a pick. And there's all kinds of picks that you can choose from to get different sounds. And now for the downsides. One of the big ones is when you're first learning, it's kind of hard to hold on to this pick. And it has a strong tendency to end up inside your sound hole. And of course, you can lose your pick pretty easily. It's kind of a small thing. I end up finding picks all over my house, under my cushions, in the couch, under the carpet, in the washing machine. Now, picks do break sometimes. It's not a big problem, but it can happen. And it is kind of hard to play soft with a pick. In fact, it tends to be kind of harsh at first. Here's what I usually hear beginners doing. If you decide you want to use a pick, I've got a lesson for you there, too. I'll put a link to it in the upper corner. Well, I hope you found that helpful. I have a quick question for you. Are you going to choose the pick? Or are you going to go ahead and try to learn to use the thumb and learn to use it in a way that'll get a good sound? Let us know in the comment section below. And I'd love to know what kind of guitar you're playing on also. If you did find this helpful, go ahead and subscribe so I can make sure and keep you updated with new videos as they come out. Before you go, hang out for just a little bit more. I have a video that I think you're going to find very helpful. And you can find that right up here. Watch this next video.